Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm talking about April's Knit Crate. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about April's Knit Crate. I actually recorded this video yesterday, the 20th, but I somehow deleted it or something, so I'm redoing it now. So I don't have the mailer anymore that it came in, but this month it came in a mailer. Um, and instead of a little booklet, it came with a card. And the reason it came with the card is because of all the COVID stuff going on. It's, they're having a harder time, you know, getting all their supplies, just like everybody is. So um, it's easier to make this little card this month instead of the booklet. But because of that, they did give you a link on the card to go download your booklet in like a PDF form. And also you can add it to your Ravelry uh, library. So you can always go back and download it again in the future. But anyways, April's theme is luminous. I can't always say that wrong. <laughs> I love this card. Just the art on it is really pretty. I love crystals and rocks and just the colors. It's just really pretty. But um, I actually forgot what this month's theme was because, you know, April's been kind of crazy. <laughs> and, um, and March was crazy. But so it was a complete surprise to me when I opened it. And I was super excited. And there were three colorways. There was like a pinky color, a purple color, and then a... Uh, gray color and it all has stellina in it really pretty so here's the one that i got Ta -da -da. i got the gray one now in some lights it almost looks like a it has brown in it but it in like person it doesn't have brown tones it's gray with the stellina all in it it's so pretty and sparkly and it's called the yura or uru i'm not sure how they pronounce that but it's called what does it say sugared sport so the sugar is for the sparkliness you know the stellina and it makes it look like sugars sprinkled all over it <laughs> but the colorway that i got is called diamond which i think is appropriate it is 70 percent super rush merino 20 percent nylon and 10 percent stellina which is the sparkles and it's sport weight 300 yards so that's 600 yards all together for the two uh let's see here and this this says it's machine washable lay fat to, flat to dry not fat <laughs> but yeah it's so pretty now i i think all the colors this month was beautiful i've seen a few other that other people got and they're just pretty and i know a lot of people probably really wanted the purple because purple is a really popular color but i'm actually happy with this i'd have been happy with any of them i have no idea what i'm gonna make with it but we'll figure that out eventually <laughs> now the the bonus this month was a little packet of wool wash which is kind of like soap that's made special for wool yarns and you put it in there and you soak it and it's called soak <laughs> and uh, it just it cleans and makes it soft and stuff and then on the back of the little card this month they did write a little note on there about why the packaging was different and it's because of all the COVID stuff and then on the other side it gives you a coupon code for 15% off of an order of 50 or more spent on this um, company's website they got all kinds of soaps, all different scents, and um, probably ones for different types of wool and maybe alpaca and such. Um, so it's really cool. So that's neat this month, I think. I was surprised when it came in a little envelope but uh, until I read their note. So um, also, about May, I'm super excited about May's knit crate. I cannot wait to get it. <laughs> I looked at the sneak peek. I always check at the, out the sneak peeks because I'm impatient and I can't wait for anything. But I saw May's knit crate and I was just so, oh, it's going to be so beautiful. Every, All three of the colorways for the normal crates are beautiful. There is one in particular that I really hope I get, but I will be happy with either one of them. And they're absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for you guys to see them. If you're the kind of person who likes to be surprised, hopefully you like bright colors <laughs> because they're all bright this this, um, this next month. Uh, if you don't like bright colors or multicolored yarn, you might not like maize, but Everybody who does is going to be happy. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get it. Knit Crate did say that they're going to start doing things differently um, throughout this year. They took a bunch of polls and they sent out emails and stuff trying to collect a bunch of data from everybody who subscribed to them. And they're actually doing it, which is really cool. It's nice to see that they didn't just um, read people's answers and be like, eh, we're just going to stick to the way we're doing it. They're actually changing their whole company around, you know, making changes that will make people happier which is awesome it's a good business move too because it's gonna if people are happy with your product they're more likely to buy it and then talk about it to share it with other people and that's like me i love their yarn i will always recommend knit crate yarn and i've used a lot of this yarn that i've i've gotten i've given a lot of it away but i've used a lot of it too to make projects and it's always 
wonderful. It always works out great. I just used some recently to make a shawl. Um, it was a one ball shawl by Marley Bird. And I used some Knitology uh, Bouncy Worsted Equation or something like that. <laughs> I always forget the name. But it's this really pretty blue and purple and pink and orange, like variegated yarn. Turned out beautiful. It was wonderful to work with. I loved it. But yeah, so I'm going to figure out what to make with this gorgeous yarn. I have no idea. Something delicate and lacy and fancy. It needs to be something fancy since it's sparkly. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you got Knit Crate this month, let me know below what color you got. And let me know if you check out the previews and if you're excited for me. Now the previews, they come out on their YouTube channel, on their Instagram, and through the emails that you get. Usually around the, the, the week of the 20th. I got mine... Actually, I got it early because I got it last week sometime. But um, usually around the 20th. It's definitely before the first of the month because it gives you time to you know opt out if you don't want to uh, get the yarn that's coming. So um, always check those three sources and you will get it. I have notifications turned on their Instagram so that when they post it, it'll pop up and tell me. So I can go check it out real fast because it's real exciting to uh, see what's coming, I think. I know some people like to be surprised, but I, I don't have any patience. <laughs> But yeah, so let me know down below what colors you got and if you're looking forward to May. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.